Hello, my name is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we will be going over how to start a GNSS survey within Survey Pro. This will include starting the base receiver and starting a rover. There are some basic assumptions made for the person watching this video. You will need to know how to add a receiver profile, how to create a job, and how to set up your base over a control point. If you do not know how to do these things, please go back and watch our other videos on how to do this. The equipment used in today's session includes a Spectra Precision SP80 GNSS receiver, a Spectra Precision EPIC50 GNSS receiver, and a Ranger 3 data collector running Survey Pro. A range pole and a tripod are also used to set up the equipment. Before we begin the demonstration on the data collector screen, we have already set up our SP80 on a tripod over a control point and it has been turned on. We have also set up our EPIC50 on a range pole and turned it on. We have also created a job within Survey Pro to use. We will begin at the main menu of Survey Pro. Make sure that you are in GNSS mode. To do this, look on the right side of the screen. There will be an icon either showing a receiver or a total station. If it shows a total station, click on it, scroll down, and select Switch to GNSS. We will then click Survey, Start Survey. This will bring us to a screen to select our base receiver profile. For our demonstration, we will select SP80 Base. We can now set our radio from here as well. Our SP80 has the internal transmit radio installed and selected within the receiver profile. We can quickly change the radio broadcast frequency from this screen. Just tap configure modem to go in and change the radio frequency. When you have selected it, tap the green check in the top corner to go back to the previous screen. Then tap connect in the bottom right. This will bring up the Start GNSS Survey screen. The receiver will automatically search for its position. Now enter in your antenna height. Then make sure to select where you measured to. You can change that by tapping the arrow beside the box. This is where you will also choose to record data for post-processing or not. Just select what interval you would like data recorded at. When you are done, click Next. This will bring you to a new screen where you can see a spot to select a base point. If you have points already stored in the job, you can select these points from a list. If you do not have a point in this job, you can select the option to use a new point. This will then use an autonomous position. If you are only setting up a base right now, then this is all you will have to do. Click Finish Base Setup to be done. To set up a rover at the same time, we will click on Set Rover. This will bring us back to a screen to select a receiver profile we will select the EPIC50 profile. You can then configure the modem. Make sure that your radio frequencies match between the base and rover. Then click connect. This will bring you to another screen where you can set antenna options. Put in your antenna height, making sure to select where you measured to. When using a 2 meter rod, you can just type 2m and it will automatically convert to feet. When you are done, click next. You are then ready to survey. And that concludes our video on starting a GNSS survey. We hope you found this video helpful and join us in the future for other Tech Talks. Feel free to browse our collection of other helpful videos as well. Thank you.